Hey guys, welcome back to SEL TV Live. Soon to release this highly anticipated LP called The Real Love Project. I welcome my uber talented husband, Kitty DeShields, to the show. What up, girl? What up? <laughs> <laughs> So awkward right now, but um, last time you were here, which is like a year ago, yeah. we were dating. Yes. And then we um, eloped. We put a ring on it. <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're yes, married now. We're so married. thanks for joining us Thank on the you show. Thank you for having me. And yeah, these are some of my pictures. You guys were in Key West, Florida, and we um, eloped there. Yes. So. So anyways, you've been working on an album for the past year. Can yes. you talk to us about it? It's called The Real Love Project. Okay, yes. The Real Love Project is my journey um, for the past few years, um, from our relationship to friendships to uh, life in general. I talk about it being the road less traveled because mm -hmm. um, love is a commonly talked about topic, but it doesn't get the shine that it needs. And mm -hmm. so a lot of times with love, we talk about the the beautiful, amazing side of it, but there's also the darker side of it. Um, and so what I'm doing is actually showing both sides of that, mm -hmm. how you can be in love and, and enjoy it, but also dealing with forgiveness and trust and um, abuse and dealing with um, overcoming fears and insecurities. And so like the whole spectrum of love. And I'm really excited about it because I poured my heart out into these songs and yeah. I'm really excited for the world to hear it. <laughs> now you took a year off from performing just yes. to write. What was that experience like for you? Was it hard for you not to yes. be out because I know you're so outgoing? Oh my God. It was <laughs> extremely hard not to, but I got some excellent advice from Angela Brown, who is a, um, uh, a booking agent for Live Nation. She books for Verizon Wireless Amphitheater. And she was like, I had a meeting with her last year and she's like, Kenny, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing that you need to focus on the album, write mm -hmm. the album. And I was like, man, because I had been, for the past three or four years, I had been playing somewhere almost every week or several times a month and mm -hmm. outside of you know singing at church. And so um, it began to wear on my body and my voice. And um, I think I was running on fumes. And so I was like, okay, it's time to really write this album. And it actually was probably one of the hardest things I've had to do okay. um, because I had to focus everything there and I had to write and stretch myself because it was easy for me to come up with these quirky songs but then it was like okay now it's time to talk about this and now it's time to talk about that and I'm like mm -hmm. oh, why do we got to do that <laughs> so speaking of this and it um being different from what you normally do mm -hmm. you were kind of known for like the neo soul you know yeah. um type and now you're kind of like I want to say not transitioning but mm -hmm. um just evolving talk yeah. about the evolution of your music gotcha um I think in life we just go through these phases and like I went through the the um the church boy phase where I was wearing <laughs> suits and bow ties all the time and then I went through the music soul child neo soul mm -hmm. D'Angelo Bilal phase and then I started to evolve into this hipster person and it, um and I think this person has always been there but I was afraid of it because I'm like you know this is a black guy you know you do gospel music you know you're from the south you know you're supposed to sound like this and look like this but this has always been a part of me mm -hmm. and so um, a part of the Real Love Project is me being more of me. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a song on there called Gotta Be Me, and so, which I call my ever-evolving song because mm -hmm. I'm always becoming Why more Why do you like call, call that song that? You are forever changing the lyrics of it, yes. and it's for, you're forever doing something different with it. Why? Yeah. And that song really is a special song for a lot of people because yeah. they, they always say, I, I know that song, I remember that song. Yeah. So talk about that. Well, I think a lot of us are afraid to be ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, we're so used to hiding behind these stigmas and these mirrors and and there just has to come a point where you say, you know what, I'm gonna be me. And I think the more we learn about ourselves, the more we grow, the more we live life, the more we walk through relationships with people, we find out more about ourselves. So there's a song that comes behind that. And sometimes that song is happy and upbeat. And sometimes that song is, you know, it's got a drag beat to it. And sometimes it's, you know, going at 140 BPM, that's beats per minute. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and so it's one of those things like I kind of change the song of how I'm feeling that day. I even kind of reading the crowd, like what, what I think is going to speak to that mm -hmm. particular audience at that time. Well, we got a lot more to talk about. You guys can stay in for another segment. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be back with more of Kenny DeShields. So stay with us, guys.